look carefully here, you will see that it says that past years, what was spent in 2016 and 2017, and that is where this is lodged. Here it says past years, and it says 2018, this is how much you bought. Either somebody said they've given this money to the EC to buy 2,000 laptops, each accompanied with a printer, a camera, and a scanner, and that somehow that money didn't go to the EC, and somebody kept that millions of dollars at the financial finance, or the EC is lying. One of them must be lying. Ministry of Finance or the EC. Because if the system entirely based from 2011, and we have records showing that we are buying more and more of them 2016 and 2018, then somebody is lying to Ghanaians. It's a very simple argument. If you accept the argument you are making that we trust the data from the Ministry of Finance, that's they are politicians, right? And sometimes politicians also do funny things. Auditor General. The EC is a public agency. When they say we are independent, it doesn't mean that because they are independent, when they take our money, nobody should go and take a look. That's why they are audited. That is why the EC cannot sack somebody and say because we are independent, we've sacked them without cause. The person can go to court or go to the labor courts or go to the labor commission. So despite their independence, they are subject to all the public sector regulations and constraints that every other agency is subject to. And that is why they are audited. And when they are audited, you can see from 2016 that they are spending a lot of money on this biometric stuff. You see, voter management system upgrade and rollout training. Voter management system is the software that sits in the district office that they use to register people and keep their names and do adjudication, etc., etc. And look how much they are spending. $1.15 million, April 2016. You can see that they did some preparation of VVD and ancillary service. They spent, what, $14 million. This is money we are talking about, too. Buying laptops and repairing laptops and things like that. $14 million. This is all 2016. Look at how much they spent on the BVR case that they are saying that are completely obsolete. $2 million. For the same biometric equipment, $10 million. These are all 2016. Releasing $40 million on a system they say is obsolete because in 2011 there had no investment in it. When the Auditor General's Auditor Account Statement say otherwise.